crazy dog. Well, good morning, Magandang Umaga, and welcome to today's episode of My PI Dream. Forgive me for being a little bit of out of breath here. Uh, Hapon gives me a workout every morning here, doing our runs around the yard. Well, anyway, today is, what is today? Today is Thursday. Today is Thursday. And this is going to be an exciting day today because it involves us doing things for our community, you doing things for our community here. We have finally received the funding from the transfer from GoFundMe. It's finally made it over here to the Philippines and the funds are available. So today, the plans are to go to the local barangay, talk with the local government there, uh, the people who are managing the evacuees at, at the different evacuee sites, find out what they need, Go do some shopping and do some distribution distribution later on this afternoon to those in need. And it's all because of you, because of your generous donations. So that's what the plans are for today, and I'm sticking to it. So without further delay, let's get today's video underway. All right, our first stop this morning, we're going to the local barangay, barangay hall. We're gonna do the coordination to find out what the necessary supplies that the evacuees need. Uh, then we're gonna go on a shopping trip. Uh, you ready to go shopping for some, some rice? Any shopping, <laughs> I'd like any shopping. <laughs> yeah, are you prepared to have like 100 kilos of rice in the If you're gonna the truck? bring them, <laughs> carry okay, them. Okay, so let's go ahead and go down to barangay, get that out of the way, go do some shopping, and then make some smiles on some people's faces. Okay, so far so good. We have a see you later today. We have a full we have a full case of this is medicine at the uh, local pharmacy. We actually stopped at a non-brand kind of a pharmacy uh, because some of the name brand places like Mercury are a little bit higher in the price, and we're trying to uh, save as much money as possible for other purchases here. So we're going to a grocery store here, not the big grocery store like SM or Robinson. We're actually going to a place here called Pure Gold, and their prices are a little bit more discounted than some of the bigger places by the malls. Again, we want to save some money. Uh, so let's go see what's on our list, what we can get from Pure Gold. Let's the rice you have in here is too heavy uh, for this cart right here. Uh, so we kind of bought everything out here for this rice. And we're going to use one of the other rice brands as well. So we'll stock all this up and there's still some other items we have to get while we're here. That's a lot of groceries, but it's just a portion of what we need to purchase. But it's all I can fit inside the truck right now. And then put, putting everything in an inventory document or a sheet. Now before we deliver the items to the barangay, we're going to do an inventory here. Uh, the inventory is so that we have a record, a record of tracking uh, everything that we purchased, everything that was delivered 
So at the very end of this campaign, everything is nice and transparent. You'll see where the money was well spent. So right now we're doing that. We're doing the inventory. We're going to put it on a sort of like a invoice sheet. And when we deliver it tomorrow morning, which I was kind of hoping today, but uh, we had to coordinate a little bit with the barangay to find out uh, exactly what they needed at this specific location. Uh, then we'll give them the invoice sheet with the amount they'll sign for it and we'll put that inside our folder that shows everything that we spent and delivered. Uh, so that's what we're doing right now. First thing in the morning, we'll head out to the barangay and we'll turn it over. I think uh, most of the people come out there for collection of their uh, materials, some food, and all the essentials. I think they do it around nine o'clock in the morning. So that's what we'll do first thing in the morning. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Barangay Hall. We're with uh, Councilman Rodell. Rodell is kind of in charge of doing a lot of the distribution down here and he uh, is, does a lot of the paperwork and maintains the balances of how many people are inside the community. Anyway, so how many people are in the community now? How many families are we supporting now? Uh, almost 63. 63, 63 Six, families. Yeah. 63 families, and remember, some of them are leaving. Some of them are leaving, and the reason they're leaving is because we have gone from the alert condition four to we're uh, uh, level three. Level three. Yeah. We're alert level three right now. So some of them are able to go back, but there's some areas that are still in really yeah. bad shape. And like, uh, for example, the children who cannot be there. Some of them, a family, I stay here because uh, cannot uh, go back to the home because they're both. I'm broken. Okay. Yeah. So what they're doing here, you can see in the background, they're taking all the big boxes of supplies and they're packaging them into smaller packages to be able to give out to each one of the individual families. Uh, so we'll continue to provide su support here to this brown guy uh, as long as there is a need here. Uh, so we'll monitor. And thanks, thanks, Rodell, for giving me a uh, Thank you very much for all uh, of the donate. <laughs> thank you very much. Bye. Well, here we are back at Villa Feliz, and we're going to close out today's video. The main reason for today's video is to give you some awareness of what's going on with the distribution of some of the the uh, supplies that we got from the my PI Dream to Al Volcano Evacuation uh, Fund that we put together. And we want to thank each and every one of you for helping mm -hmm. uh, make this a reality. Now, it might seem, since you don't seem a lot of, see a lot of things inside uh, the news these days about what's going on in the, in the Taal, Taal area, is because we have gone from an alert four to an alert three. Alert three is allowing some of the people to go back into their homes and do cleanup in the local area. Now, even though it went from a large radius area around the, the volcano to a smaller area and it keeps on getting even smaller, there are still areas over there that mm -hmm. are totally under lockdown. They're under 100% lockdown. Uninhabitable too. 
Yeah, the, mm -hmm. the homes the homes have pretty much been destroyed. And a lot of the people that are remaining inside the barangays uh, in the evacuation centers are, are those people who still cannot go back to their homes, uh, which mm -hmm. is why we still have 60 plus families that are mm -hmm. inside our barangay that we're doing assistance support for. Mm -hmm. So those are the people that we're helping, that you're helping. Uh, but just remember this, that at the very beginning of each disaster, there is a, a lot of money that comes in on donations uh, for funds and for governments that uh, take care of the people at the very beginning because it's very visible. Now, even though uh, we've gotten to the point now where people can start going back, and I mentioned earlier that there's some places that are still, uh, n you can't occupy that, that area, and they're in lockdown, uh, support is starting to dwindle from places like government agencies and uh, even though uh, out of sight out of mind there's a lot of agencies that are not providing support as well now for us we're kind of lucky that that GoFundMe actually put a temporary hold on the account and it took them a while to release it which put us kind of a week behind uh, as far as our collection of the funds which again that is kind of good because now for all those other agencies that are slowing down or stopping support of the people who are in need we still have a little bit of the funds left over in the account and we'll mm -hmm. continue to provide support uh, until mm -hmm. uh, the funds run out and we want to thank you again for your support there by the way we're going to close for today uh, we did a good deed you all did a great deed and uh, we'll continue to so do much. this thank you very much we'll continue to do this uh, until we exhaust all of our funds inside here and uh, we'll do our best to continue providing support to the, the people who are in need well that's it for today uh, we have other things we need to work on there's a <laughs> lot of activities that are coming up in the next uh, about the next week and we'll share that with you in upcoming episodes here at my PA dream so let's go ahead and close for today so if you enjoyed today's video please give us a thumbs, thumbs up. up please share and if you have not subscribed just click on that little my PI dream heart in the yeah. bottom right hand side of your screen you'll be subscribed and notified the next time we upload a new video so until such time you have a wonderful and blessed day <laughs>